2018 women's athlete. She was there in Ghana. And Chanda this time wants to make sure that that is going to be a moment. And she is coming out with Chanda. Chanda next to one. Very good. Start there for Samia. Sometimes the captains allowed to take it late, but she decided to do it now. Leaps to up in up. Top links both there for the. Uh, it's getting excited. They know they believe the captain would be able to convert and give them the hope. They'll be hoping that uh, Zell Nali would also start over and uh, give them the initial needed uh, motivation. The lady will convert it against Bokina Faso for the four. She's also believed to be one. Senegal missing the first kick here. Some here would have to take this one and make it sure that at least they get another opportunity. It is Zulu. Look at that. Oh, nicely done, Nungu. Nicely done. Yeah. Just in that hot spot, that area where you know it makes it very difficult for the goalkeepers to get there. Wow. Tell them saying, really. They're trying their best, though, but I think the, the Zambians are just kicking it so well, dispatching it beautifully. And. Senegal, Yakati. Just can't believe what's happening. The hat great moment there. Tell you what, this is going to be history. History time. And Javi Bardi 
but also get a chance here. She comes up here again to Nali Bani, and she also converts. Excellently there for Senegal. Valdez just looking where the goalkeeper is going and sends it the opposite way. And I think the goalkeeper just really indicated from the onset, just giving us so much room on the far end. She says, thank you. She knows that uh, this moment there for them, see they can have a space. This time it's going to be the big lady at the back of Shumo. Wepa has got a chance to make it for here if she can. Wepa here adds the seat. Lifeline once again to Senegal and a huge, huge moment. And once again, excited. Excitement got all there for the Senegalese fans. They're happy finally. Sen has been able to save. Sen at this time really going the right way, pulling out a brilliant save to really just bring the team back into this contest. We are in for a huge conflict here, a huge one between Zambia and Senegal. Quality at stake here, two teams showing their prowess. Tell you what, it's down to the goalkeepers to see what they can do today. They're doing amazingly. The Senegal is fans up, really giving up yet. The Kate is the one to see if she can beat uh, Zell Nali in post. So, this is it. The Kate and she's missing. Nali saves the Kate, and this time Zambia will feel they have the power to see if they can. It's down to the final takers. Nali does, does exceptionally well to stay on the line to make sure that she pulls a great, great save. Guess what's going to now? <laughs> She decides to take this one on. And she has the confidence. And it is his own knowledge. She saves one. Can she score one? She saves one. And she scores! And this time the storyline has changed. 4 2 it is. And history has been made. Oh, could you believe this? The Copa Bullets got to the semi finals in the Kosafa game, and now the Copa Queens have made history. The very first quarter finals of the women's have gone, and now have put their place in the very first women's World Cup in New Zealand and Australia. What a story there for Zambia! What a story for Nani, who does great to save. <laughs> oh, Dustin, I don't know which song you'll be dancing to, but the girls have made it, and the hero tonight is Hazo Nali, the goalkeeper. <laughs> Amazing, beautiful stuff. <laughs> so proud of these girls. No, I mean, I mean, uh, you give it up to them. They, you know, they've tried their best. They've done it. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, they, they... A, a quick one, Augustine. Uh, in the second half, uh, Senegal, the Senegal defender actually uh, pushed in a header into his own, is in her own net. Uh, Zambia celebrated. They thought this is now a winning goal, but we saw the goal being chopped off by the VAR. It didn't look like an offside. I mean, that was a clear goal. Um, I don't know why you know we are rule that offside. Um, 
I saw no reason. I, I mean, you know, um, it was a goal in my view. And sadly, you know, um, such crucial matches you can easily lose uh, with such poor officiating. Uh, but fortunately, the girls held their own. They fought hard and went up to penalties. We were scared for them on penalties because, um, you know, they, they they haven't taken their penalties very well uh, in regulation time during the last two matches. We were all on our edges, but look at what they've done. Beautiful staff, and we congratulate them. Job well done. Um, it's, it's a first. They are going to the World Cup in New Zealand and Australia. Um, we... I mean, we are proud of what they've done. This is what we know uh, Zambia is and what Zambia should be when it comes to football. We are a powerhouse and we should be counted among the best. All right. Uh, Lucia Mo missed the penalty, uh, but she's the uh, player of the match. Do you agree with the selection? Player of the match is selected, I mean, during regulation time. By the 80th minute, she should have already had a player of the match. I think she stood very well in defense. Uh, she played extremely well. Um, you could tell from the body language that, you know, uh, that penalty um, might be missed, could be missed, and, you know, she missed it. Fortunately, uh, Nali came back and, you know, put the game back into, into play by saving that penalty, and she scored the winner. So... Um, I think the defense played pretty well. You know, they kept the Senegalese away, except for the, you know, the, the opener that they scored. Uh, but I think um, she deserves it. Yes, I'll give it to her. Even if she missed the penalty, um, I'll still give it uh, to her. Uh, all right. So we, we can confirm that th these ladies will be getting 300,000 US dollars each. Uh, and also, CAF will receive two hundred and fifty thousand US dollars for Zambia qualifying to the to the, to the semi-finals. Uh, your comment, uh, Augustine, and your last uh, words. What next for the team? Um, I think they'll be getting uh, three thousand dollars each for for the win, if I'm not mistaken. Um, then yeah. you know the association will get uh, a little over two two hundred thousand if uh, you know, for. 250,000 for qualifying to the semi-final. So um, it's, it's, it's a game changer for, for the girls. Uh, I see five of these girls going into Europe, you know, playing for, for big teams. Um, going to the World Cup is a big statement. They've given themselves a huge lifeline uh, for their careers. Congratulations to them. Uh, I believe that we need to keep this team together. Um, we need to ensure that this team goes to the World Cup, not to participate, but to compete, because we've got a team that is capable of, you know, um, doing wonders on the world stage. So uh, kudos to them. Um, most likely, if South Africa wins uh, against Tunisia tonight, they meet South Africa in the semi-final. South Africa is one of the, I mean, best performing teams in this competition. So uh, we have to look out for that. They could surprise us. We have to root for them to get to the final. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Augustine, joining us live from the United States of America. And this has thank been you. a special edition of Ubuntu Sports. Uh, see you next time into the semis, both for the ladies <laughs> and the Zambia national team in South Africa. Good night and watch. Uh, Best wishes. Uh, meet your leaders. Thank you. <laughs>